wasn't that nice. We all enjoyed wearing those old-fashioned costumes for our Easter parade. Our wonderful wardrobe mistress, Rose Weiss, designed them. And Charles Kuhn, our talented set decorator, created that charming little church and garden. Hi, friends. I'm Norma Zimmer, and it's my pleasure to be your guest host for this very special Easter show. It was taped in 1979, and it's one of our happiest shows. So let's watch it now, shall we? Here's Lawrence again to lead the band in a champagne music arrangement of a song from My Fair Lady, On the Street Where You Live. this evening. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, Tom Netherton. Thank you, Mr. Well. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Easter is such a beautiful time of year, and it's because of Easter that I can sing this next song for you. Shackled by a heavy burden a load of guilt and shame then the hand of Jesus touched me and now I am no longer the same he touched me he touched me and oh, the joy that floods my soul Something happened And now I know He touched me And made me whole Since I met this blessed
much to me and made me whole. He touched me. Isn't that a lovely song? He touched me. Tom sings it with so much feeling. You know, I have so many friends who are in love with Tom. And I tell them, yes, I think he's still available. Now the charming Aldrich sisters and the handsome Otwell twins bring you another well-loved sacred song, Do Lord. And clap along if you feel like it. classic, The Lost Chord, originally written for the organ. It makes a fine accordion solo when it's played by our own Meyer and Florence.
you. Uh, what a pleasure to play with this band. Here's a great old spiritual and two great performers, Guy and Ralda. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. It's good enough for me. Give me that. Wasn't that wonderful? When Rolna English first came on the show, I think it was in 1969, she told me that she loved to sing hymns. She had grown up in the South where gospel songs are almost a way of life. Guy Hofus also grew up in the South in Tupelo, Mississippi, where Elvis was born. And he loves to sing hymns too. I think you can catch their spirit and fire in the way they sang that fine old spiritual. Lovely Anna Connie brings a touch of beauty and charm to the show with her next song, I'd Like to Teach the World to Sing. And I'd like to say that Anna Connie is just as lovely inside as she is outside. A truly lovely lady, Anna Connie. I'd like to build the world a home and furnish it with love. A pretty girl is like a melody. This is the musical background for a graceful dance routine by Barbara and Bobby.
What great dancers they are. Bobby and Barbara are two of the most genuinely happy people I've ever known. Always smiling, always positive, and both so happily married with beautiful families. It's a pleasure to know them. I looked forward to our Easter show every year. The glorious music, the feeling that spring is here, the sense of renewed life, the beauty of our wonderful world. Isn't this a breathtaking view? I'm on the veranda of Fern and Lawrence's home here at the resort, just enjoying this fabulous view and all the beauty around us. There's a lovely song that captures that feeling perfectly. And here is charming Kathy Sullivan to sing it for you. Spring is here. Spring is here. Why?
Beautifully done, Kathy. Arranger Bob Ballard found a familiar old hymn that makes an excellent solo for our great clarinet man, Henry Cuesta. Here's Henry and his new gold clarinet, and love lifted me. I don't think anyone plays that song any better than Henry. He's a real artist. So often the Christian calendar and the Jewish calendar meet. Our Jewish friends celebrate the feast of the Passover at just about the time Christians celebrate Easter. In recognition of the joyful Passover feast, George Cates and the orchestra play a medley of songs from Fiddler on the Roof. You'll hear, If I Were a Rich Man, Miracle of Miracles, and a beautiful solo by Joe Feeney of Sunrise, Sunset.
that play. I don't remember growing older. When did they? When did she get to be a beauty? When did he grow to be so tall? Wasn't it yesterday when they? band. Uh, one of the best loved hymns of all time will be heard in many churches this Easter Sunday. You'll hear it now by lovely Norma Simmer. That's one of my favorite hymns. It's a joy to sing. Just a moment ago, we heard the orchestra play Miracle of Miracles. And I am so grateful for the miracle which recently occurred in my own life. 
So many times over the years, my husband Randy and I have experienced God's love, grace, and support. But never more so than a few months ago when I underwent brain surgery for tic de la rue, or trigeminal facial neuralgia. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's a cranial nerve condition which causes excruciating, shocking pain on the face. Mine was in the right eye area. I struggled with it for years before I finally found a doctor who performed my own personal miracle, Dr. Peter Janetta. This wonderful neurosurgeon is based in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So on the appointed day, my husband Randy and I flew there for tests and surgery. I was a little apprehensive on the flight. But just before we landed, a lovely stewardess leaned over our seats and said, You're a Christian, aren't you? And I nodded yes. And she smiled and said, I've been praying for you. She and Randy and I prayed together from that moment on. I had absolutely no fear. I left the plane with a sense of peace and joy and complete trust in what was about to happen. The operation was performed two days later, very early in the morning, and when I awoke, there was no pain. For the first time in nearly 10 years, I had no pain. Within 48 hours, I was allowed to get up, shower and dress, even put on some makeup, and I felt like a new person. I can't tell you how grateful I am for Randy's constant loving care, for the prayers of my family and friends, and for the skill of my surgeon. I thank God for all of you. Now let's ring some bells to express joy and happiness. Here's a lovely old song we all know, The Bells of St. Mary.
Were those tulips the girls were holding? Looked more like daffodils to me. Well, no matter. The flowers were beautiful, and so are those three young ladies. We're such good friends. I often get to see Mary Lou and Sandy because we all live in the same general area. But I haven't seen Gail in some time. She and her little family now live in a suburb of Nashville. Next up is a very appropriate song for this time of year, Showers of Blessing. And it's played by our gifted pianist, Bob Ralston. <laughs> Austin with showers of blessings. Jimmy Roberts is ready with a song to fit the season, so let's enjoy Jimmy and April showers with Bob Smale at the piano. Though April showers may come your way, they bring the flowers that bloom in May. Because it isn't raining, rain, you know, it's raining violets. And when you see clouds upon the hill, you soon will see crowds of daffodils. Jimmy Roberts and I have been singing partners for so many years. Lawrence always says that Jimmy is one of the nicest men he's ever known. And with the possible exception of my husband, Randy, I think I would have to agree. Jimmy and his darling wife, Vi, now live in Florida. So many of our friends have moved to different parts of the country. In fact, Randy and I have moved, too. We now have a brand new vacation home in Park City, Utah, and we love it. That's our living room. And of course, we have the fireplace going every day. And you can tell how comfortable we are with those stocking feet. <laughs> Randy and I love to work in the flower beds. And of course, we have tulips and daffodils and the most beautiful spring flowers just now. And that's a picture of my art studio. 
Now that I'm better again, I'm going to start painting. And uh, that's my view from the, the kitchen. We look out over the beautiful runs at Deer Valley, and there are such beautiful trails to hike, Aspen wine trails. And Randy and I love to take long hikes in the surrounding countryside. It's heavenly. The air is so crisp and clean, the mountain trail so beautiful, and there's the skiing. Randy and I have loved to ski since the day we met. That was in Snoqualmie Pass, just outside of Seattle. Oh, a few years ago, oh, I won't tell you how many years, we've been happily skiing through our life together ever since. Ken Dilo is up next singing a happy springtime song on the sunny side of the street. I think it suits Ken. He has such a wonderful, sunny nature himself. We could always depend on Ken to lighten the mood with a joke if things got a little heavy at rehearsal. So here he is. Grab your coat and get your hat. Leave your worries on the doorstep. Just direct your feet to the sunny side of the street. Can't you hear that pitter pat? And that happy tune is your step. Life could be so sweet. Side of the street, I used to walk in the shade with those blues on parade. But I'm not afraid. This rover's crossed over. If I never had a set, I'd be rich as Rockefeller with gold dust at my feet on the sunny side of the street. I'm even. joins the Easter Parade dancing to a great old timer put on your old gray bonnet Arthur is such a wonderful gentleman, and how he can sing and dance. You know, as he was singing about the old gray bonnet, I couldn't help thinking about a portrait I did, oh, many years ago, one of my first, of a little grandmother wearing a bonnet. 
she's working on her lace near an open window. And I thought she was just very charming, charming little lady. And then one day I saw this picture of a little girl and read a story about her. And it told of how she had been playing out in the yard with her jeans and swinging and so forth. And her mother wanted her to come in and get dressed up in this fancy little gown. And she didn't want to do it. You can tell by her expression. She didn't want to come in. But I was especially intrigued by the lace. It was a real challenge to do that. And then I'd like to share with you a picture of Randy's dad, Pop Zimmer. He was a master baker from Germany. But after he retired, he decided to develop an alfalfa ranch in eastern Washington. And he always wore a nice little straw hat with his bib overalls, and he had a twinkle in his eyes. He was the most joyous man I've ever known. One of the things I love to do best in the world is to paint. I can spend hours just lost in concentration. It's very relaxing, very fulfilling to me. And now we come to the real spirit of Easter, with the full chorus singing some glorious Easter songs. Bob Ballard who was our wonderful arranger for many years, directs the group. And you'll see all the regular singers, plus Kenny Trimble, Bob Lido, and Charlie Parlato, who usually are in the band. And dear Kurt Ramsey, who was our magnificent librarian. And Bob Ralston is at the organ. If you feel like joining in on any of these hymns, please do. Well, friends, that's our Easter show. It's been such a pleasure to spend an hour with you. I think all of us in our musical family feel a special bond with those of you who have been such loyal friends over the years. And now, till we meet again, please be happy. You know, we have a choice. We can choose to be happy, or we can choose to be miserable. And I choose to be happy. Now, may God bless all of you. Good night. Yeah, we
musical highlights from upcoming programs of the Lawrence Welk Show. Nature brings you another episode of Land of the Eagle, Sunday night at 8, here on 6. Don't miss the silver screen double feature tonight. The two movies include the classic The Outlaw and the Danny Kaye feature The Inspector General. The movies start at 10 tonight here on 6.